and spine injury in this difficult situation of coronavirus. Today's lesson would be about present continuous tense. Present continuous tense is one of the important tense, and I can say it can be the easiest one too. The question is, how can we make present continuous tense? It's very easy, guys. We use be plus verb plus ing. But remember, B doesn't mean B. B is am, is, are. So, we bring the subject first, and after that, according to the subject, we use the suitable verb, suitable to be verb, and after that, we use verb plus ing. And for making them into negative form, it's easy too. We add only not to am, is, are. For example, I am writing now. Negative form, I am not writing now. And for changing into question form, we change the to be place with the subject. Are you writing now? Yes, I am. I am writing now. No, I'm not. I'm not writing now. Now let's talk about the usages of present continuous. I mean, in which situation do we use this tense? First of all, when you are talking about something that you are in the middle of doing of that, you have to use present continuous tense. What do I mean? For example, I started my class 30 minutes ago and still I'm in the class and I am teaching. It means that I'm in the middle of teaching. So, I have to use present continuous tense. What am I doing? I am teaching English now. Or I can say that because it is at the moment. Because of that we have to use present continuous. Second one, we use present continuous tense for describing picture, poster, or photo. For example, if you go to the museum, the tour leader who comes with you, he or she is using the present continuous while he is describing or talking about the pictures or posters. For example, look at Mona Lisa picture. She is laughing or she is smiling. It is ING form. This is another usage. And number three, whenever you want to talk about the arranged future, or planned future, you should use present continuous tense. What do I mean by this? For example, tonight, you and your friends are going out together. So, because you made a plan for this, maybe you walked a restaurant, maybe you, I don't know, talked to someone about that restaurant. So, you, you have a special plan for that. Because you have a plan, so I can say this is arranged future. So you can say, we are going to eat at that restaurant tonight. Thank you so much guys for today. If you have any question, you can ask us in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe our page and introduce us to your friends. Stay safe, stay at home, have a great time, goodbye. Okay everyone, if you liked today's expression and if you have any question, please leave your comments and your questions on the comment parts. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Have a great day everyone. Don't forget, it's Chit Chat.